Welcome back everyone, Sweet Battle Scars here, and I am back with another unboxing video. Today we're gonna look at the Sculptures Big Budokai 5 Goku figure by Bam Presto. This is, uh, I believe, the first in this series of figures. As you guys can see here, it's all in Japanese, but uh, I'm pretty sure that says uh, Sculptures Big Budokai. Of course, we see the uh, Sculptures logo there, obviously uh, distributed by Crane King in Japan. Uh, these are really nice figures. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that I uh, collect these um, whenever I can. Whenever I can get my hands on a figure by Ben Presto, especially if it's Dragon Ball, I will go ahead and uh, get it. So I got myself this set. Uh, well, not the entire set. Uh, these are the figures that this set uh, has. Uh, we have Nappa, Raditz, Son Goku, which I have here. Bardock, Vegeta, and Cell. And you guys can see the figures in the background there, but yeah, my camera just focused. Good. So I have uh, the, the uh, not the complete set. I haven't gotten the Vegeta. I'm on the fence on that figure. I don't know if I will be getting it. I honestly don't like it that much. So I don't know if I find it for a very good price, I might get it. So uh, it's 50-50 uh, at this point. So uh, this is the box. I just showed you one of the sides. Here is the background. It shows uh, Goku and Bardock. Which is the reason, the main reason why I got this set. Uh, I've, uh, I don't have any Bardock figures, so I'm really happy to finally have one for uh, him, uh, Goku's father. So that's it for the box. Let's get to uh, getting this figure out of the box. So again, I'm gonna open the box from the uh, bottom, just in case I decide to keep the box. I normally keep boxes for uh, maybe uh, like. Uh, how should I put it? Uh, better qual. I mean, these these figures are very high quality, but I normally keep boxes for like statues, for example, for uh, figures and statues that are made out of uh, polystone or uh, any other material. But uh, for these uh, Bam Presto figures, I often just throw the box away. So I haven't decided on these if I will be keeping the box. So just for now, I will be. Uh, just in case, I will keep it for now. Um, you guys can see it just uh, comes in uh, bubble wrap and there's just a piece of cardboard in the box so uh, they don't even come in foam or anything like that so and th and these figures are very very nice they're very very awesome figures but uh, at the end of the day they are made out of a very solid plastic so I don't think uh, I don't think they really need that much packaging so we're gonna get all of this plastic out of the way first you guys can bear with me with uh, all this noise. And it's a little annoying sometimes. Alright, here we go. Let's get all this bubble wrap out of the way and we have a nice base for the figure. Let's put these pieces here so you guys can start to appreciate the uh, figure. So we have three pieces here. Alright, and finally the base. So there is the base. Uh, we've have we have a transparent uh, acrylic base or plastic, and uh, we have this little peg here, and then we have uh, another little smaller peg here, which I, I assume uh, probably goes into Goku's foot or foot or something. So I'm gonna leave that for for last. So the figure itself, you, uh, as you guys can see, comes into in two parts. So it's very easy to just assemble. So very uh, minimal assembly required. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, mechanical lock into place. It's a very big figure. It's uh, it's gonna see here that it's very bulky, very very massive figure. Uh, it is pretty big. I think these are actually about eight inches tall. So uh, I don't have my ruler out right now, but. Uh, on the label it said that it was, uh, or on the website where I got it from, it said that it was 8 inches. And it does feel about 8 inches, you guys can see there. Uh, if my hands are any indication or, uh, you know, whatnot. These are, uh, these are pretty big figures, just uh, enough with that. It's a very, it's a very big figure. It's definitely on the uh, bigger scale than uh, most of the other uh, Bam Presto figures, which are slightly smaller than this, but this is a very nice figure. I hope uh, the light isn't too bright. So that you guys can't see the details, but maybe I will. Okay, yeah, there we go. That did it. Maybe move this light a little further away. I think that's uh, the magic touch there. That's a lot better. So there is the figure. 
Uh, you guys can see the color on his skin a little better. And you guys can see that it's a very nice sculpt. Not to mention the paint. The paint is very nice. And it's got very minimal paint. For the most part, this is a pigmented plastic. So I believe that this plastic is uh, cast in this color. So it's pigmented resin and they just cast it in that color. So no need to paint. Like this blue piece of uh, plastic here for his uh, wristbands. Uh, that doesn't look like paint. It's just the uh, color of the plastic. Same goes for uh, his uh, pants here for the uh, the cloth. It's all pigmented uh, resin, so no paint on them. Uh, same for the boots. I think we might. Yeah, we have paint here on the little uh, on the little red lace there. Uh, paint on the bottom of the boots, uh, and uh, of course we have paint on his face there. But a uh, very nice uh, paint job, not a lot of paint, but what is there is very nice, very professionally done. And the cast, the cast is my favorite aspect of these figures. These are phenomenal sculpts. The uh, the way that they've captured the uh, the moment uh, in Planet Namek, you know, in the, the final moments of the planet, and and Goku as he's fighting uh, Frieza, it, it's very, it's they've definitely captured the moment with this awesome Goku uh, figure. So. Um, I'm gonna keep uh, spinning it around so you guys can appreciate it a little more. I'm gonna maybe move my camera. There we go. I think that might be better. Very, very awesome figure. So, um, very happy with it. And uh, like I said, that's this is the main reason I collect I collect these Ban Presto figures. These are very high quality figures, uh, despite the fact that. Uh, you know, the materials probably aren't that expensive. Uh, uh, these these are still very good figures is what I meant to say. Um, you know, it's not, they're not made out of, uh, I'm having a hard time putting this peg on. They're not made out of polystone or anything like that, but they they don't need to be because uh, they, are, they are already very awesome figures by themselves. So they don't need to be made out of any expensive uh, materials here, so... Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but yeah, the bottom of the base is uh, his foot hits the base, so I'm probably not doing this right. Let me see here. Oops, and there goes that. All right, see, don't don't do what I'm doing. Don't try to force things into place. I'm gonna see if uh, this is this might be a better approach here. There we go. It seems like uh, we've got it in there. Uh, into his uh, boot. So we have uh, the two pegs, the two supports go into his boot and to and into uh, his uh, his pants there like so. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, here we go. That's a much better fit. So uh, I knew that I knew I was doing that wrong. I don't. It, it wasn't the design of the figure. Uh, his boot, the, his boot just barely touches the uh, edge of the base there, as you guys can see. But. Uh, it shouldn't uh, really damage any part of the figure, so it just barely misses it. So you know, I guess you can adjust it a little bit, but you guys get uh, the point of it. Uh, it does stand on his base very nicely, and you guys can see that uh, it can be dis displayed like so, and it makes for an awesome, very, very awesome Goku figure. I've never, I, I don't have any figures like this one in my collection, so I'm definitely thrilled to have this one uh so yeah i i can't say enough uh, i can't say enough good things about this figure very impressed with the quality overall and uh the results the sculpt the pose everything is great the cast is uh, flawless there i didn't see any cleanup that still needed to be done on the plastic everything is just phenomenal so awesome figure uh, really great figure. I highly recommend it. Uh, the price has gone up significantly, actually. I got this maybe about uh, a month ago, and I recently checked online. I usually get these through Amazon, and I I, I checked online again, and I think uh, I think I paid maybe about uh, twenty five dollars for this figure, and I now just saw that it's uh, it's probably going for about forty dollars online now. So I, I'm sure you can still find it on eBay or something uh, like that for a, you know a little cheaper, a little less money. But uh, keep in mind these Van Presto figures. Once they start going, uh, they go, and then the price goes up. Uh, and, you know, especially the older the older the figure, as time goes on, will increase in price. I've uh, I've seen some of those Van Presto figures go for uh, some some of the older ones now go for like sixty or seventy, even eighty dollars. So. Uh, they're very inexpensive figures when they're released, but uh, 
Once they go, they go. Um, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this unboxing video. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for the next unboxing. See you guys next time.